in memory of my mum. Um, you know, she was a very dedicated, passion, passionate, committed individual. So anything she got involved with, she would always, um, you know, do as much as she could. Um, and you know, after the the wonderful care that she uh, we experienced from the the nursing team um, in terms of looking after her over her last few days. Um, the, the launch of the um, support groups, um, I, I just made a pledge to myself and to my family that I would do anything I could to help raise awareness and to help make a difference. And you know, there, there's going to be hundreds and thousands of people that have probably thought very little about sepsis in the way we did. You know, it was a, a condition. Um, I knew it affected um, organs, and that was about it. I didn't really know much more about it. So if it can help to make a difference and raise awareness and get people to actually question things and, and maybe seek medical advice at, at some level. Um, and hopefully, you know, it could contribute to saving lives. So that's why I want to, you know, be involved with sepsis awareness. Anybody can develop sepsis, so from the very, very young to the very old. There are people at higher risk of getting infections and therefore at higher risk of getting in sepsis and those people are immunocompromised. So. If you think of anybody who's been having perhaps cancer therapies, chemotherapy, things like that, their immune systems are going to be a lot lower than the rest of us. Um, maternal ladies so, and also postnatal ladies. Um, people with uh, immunocompromising um, conditions such as lupus. Anybody that's had an operation recently um, and shortly after, if they develop an infection and then develop the signs and symptoms of sepsis, then they should be thinking, could this be sepsis? People on long-term steroids as well, they need, that's something that quite often gets forgotten, that actually steroids can have a, an effect on your immune system. I think if you've had sepsis before, there is some evidence to say that you might be more likely to get it again. Um, but m importantly, if in your family, it can affect the very young or the very old, anybody. There's a really good um, support group that the nurses from University Hospital are involved in as part of the Sepsis Trust, um, the national charity um, that takes place every few months. We've gone to that um, and we've met, uh, not only been able to talk to the nurses and to, you know, to get a better understanding and, and what have you, but you get the chance to meet families that have been affected as well and different perspectives. You know, we've met a survivor of sepsis, we've met um, a mother and daughter in a similar position to us. They lost their husband, father. Um, and it, it just helps you realise that, you know, this is happening um, and other people are having similar experiences. It's not just you. Um, and it, you know, from an information perspective, it's really helpful as well. It's informative, um, you know, and I like, the, you know, the theme of raising awareness. I'd like to try and help raise awareness of that as well. It's something that's going to be close to our hearts for the rest of our lives. So, um, you know, there are people, there are places you can reach out to. The Sepsis Trust has a really good website and, you know, lots of informative information and what have you. So.